and thank you for everyone that uh, participated in this morning and uh, has managed to come back to the warm endeavours of our motel this afternoon. Uh, I had a discussion this morning with, uh, with Darren and I asked him uh, over the course of uh, setting up the property at Car Wooler how many times he saw a uh, phone call from Sean Starling and just turned his phone over and said, uh, I'll just take that and I'll add a later date. Uh, that is given the enthusiasm that Sean had for uh, setting this morning up and, and ensuring that uh, you as producers could see what was executable on farm and the value you may derive from it. And of course, Sean, when you ring, I never turn the phone over. Uh, so we ran this conference in 2016 and uh, we ran the conference and then we also had the, the following day a feedback session about what you as an industry wanted uh, as an industry around the digital platforms of the future. Uh, and in the next two days, today and tomorrow, are around fundamentally the seven things that you came up with that you wanted to see MLA work on. Uh, and, in, and those themes are, are fundamentally the seven sessions that you have over, over, the, uh, over today and tomorrow. And it's a real report card back to you as an industry. But I think... Um, you know, MLA and the red meat industry moved first in this space. We, I think we were one of the first movers to recognise the power of data, um, principally because as an industry we collect so much data. But as I said yesterday in, in the, the AGM speech, it's been held in silos, it doesn't talk to each other, and a lot of people think that they own the data, and because they own the data, it's valuable and they don't want to share it. Uh, sharing of data is an absolute necessity of an informed and efficient value chain. If we uh, are talking about the cost of production, we're talking about the cost of labour on farm and, and the rising costs of everyday uh, farming in this country, we've got to recognise that what we saw this morning has an ability to reduce our cost of reduction and deliver a return on investment. As, as an industry, uh, in my four and a half years, it's been about convincing farmers that the reason you do a lot of these on-farm monitoring of animals, National Vendor Dex, LPA, of your systems and your practices and your residuals of, of uh, what you use in terms of uh, inputs to animals and so forth must all be recorded, must all be registered. Uh, a lot of people, perhaps we saw some of it at our AGM yesterday, uh, think that's offensive. But that's because we are in the food industry. Not only are we now in the food industry, and that must be a given, but we're in the high value food industry. The average moving price for beef just in Australia alone is $28 a kilo. Chicken and pork, six to nine dollars. Lamb on farm at Farmgate, forward contracts out on the eastern seaboard are at eight dollars. So we're not only in the food industry, we're in the high value food industry, and we all know what comes with that becomes a highly informed customer that expects transparency. Uh, and we really are moving into a new era. So we're moving from the language around our integrity systems of lifetime traceability to lifetime animal monitoring. Because our consumers who are, we are expecting to pay more also expect more. And when in 2016 I set out the challenge that, that uh, as an industry we are going to have to be prepared to take all the data that is coming our way and feed it back to the people in the supply chain, including you as, as producers of animals. As I did say yesterday, we will be DNA testing. I know Ireland DNA tests 7 million cattle now. Uh, and their product still doesn't eat well. But that's a side point. <laughs> Uh, you know, we will be taking DNA samples at point of slaughter, linking it back, right back down to the production and the genomics and genetics of those animals, and then taking it all the way forward to apps where consumers, when they're consuming the product, will rate your product, and linking all that up together. And that, that's a massive step in between, and only you can imagine the points of data that need to be collected there alone let alone for you on farm and through our value chain. So again, I, I formally welcome you and thank you for attending today. Uh, please engage, uh, as I said, today is a report card back on what you as an industry asked MLA to do two years ago. So have a wonderful conference. Thank you.